So today we're gonna to be checking out the brand new Hermes H24 Eau de Parfum. This one kind of just showed up and so I went ahead and picked up a bottle. Now this is a refillable bottle um, that's kind of the new thing that a lot of big designer brands are going towards here. The new Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum is that way, the new Armani Code Parfum is that way, and you could see the illustration on the back. So if you were to run through this bottle, instead of purchasing a, a whole new presentation, you can buy a refill, which will end up being cheaper in the long run, and uh, you can refill your bottle that way. So, kind of cool. H24 Eau de Toilette did come out last year. Again, that started off as an EDT, and I really wasn't super into that one. I actually ended up giving that away to one of you guys for a giveaway, obviously, uh, just because I knew I wasn't gonna wear it and it wasn't really my thing. That being said, now that they are starting to produce flankers, I'm probably gonna have to buy it again anyway, just to have on hand for comparisons and more so what I'm thinking of is eventually a buying guide later on down the road as I'm sure they're not gonna stop with this EDP. So while I don't have my Eau de Toilette bottle on hand right now, I still have a pretty good uh, recollection of how it smells, so I'll be able to base it off of that. Like I would mentioned, it wasn't really my thing. I like metallic fragrances, right? I like fragrances that are woody and citrusy, right? It just didn't really bring something too exciting to the table for me personally. So I'm hoping that the Eau de Parfum is a little bit better and up to what I like. So here is the bottle, very, very similar to the Eau de Toilette, although slightly darker. So you can actually notice that online in pictures when you're taking a look at them. Uh, the original EDT, much lighter, and this one just has an ever so slightly darker green tint to it. And that is coming from uh, the fragrance itself, or no, actually, you know what, that is the entire glass that has the tint to it, I believe. Eh, maybe not, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it is just the fragrance itself. I'm trying to look at the bottom of the bottle where there is no fragrance liquid inside of it, but it's kind of just reflecting, and this is not even picking up focus here. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I don't know, you tell me. I really can't tell. Maybe it is the liquid, because that does look clear down here at the bottom. Regardless, you can differentiate the two a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one on skin. Already came primed, and uh, we'll see how this one holds up. It is smelling like that original. However, one thing I'm noticing immediately is this one has a whole extra level of maturity to it. Not that the EDT was some super youthful, playful, and Victus smelling scent, right? Something that's very uh, young smelling. Um, but it, it was kind of just middle ground, you know, it wasn't skewed too far in one direction or the other. But this one, right off the bat, I'm noticing that there is kind of a maturity to it. Almost like a, an aromatic fougere type of mood or type of personality that this one gives off right off the bat. So you're getting a ton of uh, aromatics, woods, and this kind of mature, older, also kind of woody smell here. Uh, again, aromatic fougere leaning. Now in terms of notes, we don't have very many. Um, we have clary sage up top, oak moss in the mid, and sclarine in the base, which upon doing some research on that, is like a dry woody accord. So you can imagine here, you're just getting a ton of woods and aromatics basically. So that is the typical, more so standard three note breakdown. Definitely getting lavender for sure, and definitely um, some sort of spicy textured note, like maybe a black pepper or something along those lines. Um, you also notice that they're not even giving you any citrus here in this note breakdown. Um, it, while it's not citrus focused for me uh, in this version here, whereas the EDT may be more so, I do get just a little bit of perhaps like a older school lemon note, like a, maybe a Sicilian lemon or something, you know, kind of fits into a, a similar smell of like a, you know, a, a citrus aromatic classic scent. You know how they open up a lot of times with lemon and that sort of thing, immediately throwing you in uh, to some lavender and clary sage and other aromatics, geranium, that sort of thing, and then a mature woody base. That's kind of the uh, path that this one is following. So as it settles down here, it kind of starts to come into place. Uh, that opening was a bit loud and very, very strong, and it took me off guard, it really did. Now that it's had time to kind of settle, 
it's starting to become a little bit more smooth and a little bit more focused. I kind of felt as though when I first smelled it and first sprayed it, it was all over the place. I'm like, okay, how do I digest this here? Um, but now that it has some time to settle down, you can kind of see the direction that this one is gonna go. It is still gonna be using that oak moss heavily here a lot of oak moss and other woods maybe a, a hint of sandalwood and that sort of thing kind of giving off more of a creamy woodiness um, maybe even bits and pieces of some uh, stronger earthier vetiver notes in here uh, that sort of thing going on as well and again lavender clary sage to a heavy extent now this is gonna be more interesting to me um, again like I had mentioned in the beginning of the video the EDT just felt a little bit short especially given my criteria I've got a lot of things in my collection and sure I do tend to really gravitate towards the super wearable stuff blue fragrances that sort of thing so you're probably like oh well what's wrong with H24 it just didn't strike that that little magical um, kind of you know eye-opening uh, smell for me like I expect from a lot of fragrances right even stuff that does go in the more uh, you know trendy direction of a blue fragrance that sort of thing if it has something about it that kind of makes it unique and gives it that little bit of a different personality twist then I'm all for it and I just didn't really get that with H24 as time went on and I continued to test it it actually got more and more bland to me whereas usually it's the opposite the more I test something and wear it the more I end up liking it but I didn't have that experience there but I think here with this one the more I wear it the more I'm probably gonna like it you know if I had to put this into a category and and say that it is in the same ballpark as something it kind of reminds me a little bit of the feeling that I get when I smell something like Roja Parfums Scandal. And that's just one example. I'm not saying that this smells like Scandal or anything like that. I'm just talking mood. I'm talking feeling. I'm talking personality. Scandal is an aromatic fougere. It's going to be older smelling, right? It's going to have more of that traditional uh, men's cologne smell, whereas something like Elysium would be more modern and trendy. And Scandal just has more of the aromatics, the woods, more of that traditional citrus smell. This kind of goes somewhat in that direction of just being more traditionally masculine so there's a little bit of a sweetness in here but it's kind of coming from like the aromatics and maybe some of the woods like a creamy sweet sandalwood ever so slightly though so it's not sweet like most men's fragrances are these days this isn't a blue fragrance this isn't an aquatic scent it's none of that this is gonna be more for the gentleman. I guess another way you can think about it is it kind of more so fits into a similar style of the Terre d'Hermes fragrances. Again, not comparing and saying that this smells like any of those because it doesn't, but in terms of uh, the audience and the market, guys who like Terre d'Hermes are probably really gonna like this because it's mature. And the Terre d'Hermes line is also mature and that line can be hit or miss. Not everyone's for it, uh, and it's gonna be the same thing here. Not everyone is gonna like this scent. So I will say if uh, the Eau de Toilette was a little bit bland for you, you were maybe wanting something with a bit more personality, something that was gonna stand out amongst your collection a little bit more, uh, I would consider checking out the Eau de Parfum. I believe I paid $137 plus tax and shipping for this one, it's a 100 mil bottle. As you guys have probably noticed, the prices on everything, all these new fragrances are going up, right? Uh, the Parfum of this, um, which I'm sure they will release, will probably be $150 or $155, $160, who knows, right? Uh, so so it's, it's just one of those deals. Um, am I super excited about this 140-ish dollar purchase? Probably 150 closer to that by the time I paid for shipping. Um, I'm not super pumped up about it. Uh, I don't feel as though I've wasted my money, but at the same time, even still, I don't feel like this is something that I'm gonna wear a ton, and it doesn't excite me that much. I do think I'm gonna prefer it over the EDT, but I don't know if this is gonna rank even in my top 10 favorite releases of this year. I just don't really think so. That being said, is it an improvement over the EDT? In my opinion, 
absolutely 10 times over. And remember, we're talking about Hermes here. When you take a look at Terra Hermes, they've got the EDT, um, they've got the Parfum, they have O Intense Vetiver, they had O Tres Fresh, now they have O Givre. They've done a bunch of limited editions, like every year they do a limited edition flacon or something like that. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that we're gonna see a Parfum and that we're gonna see perhaps some sort of summer edition and some other stuff. So do keep that in mind. If this one's a miss for you as well, there's probably gonna be more flankers coming up. Like I mentioned, I need to go ahead and get that EDT and just have it on hand, because at some point a buying guide is gonna have to be done on this line. Might be a couple years, but I know it's gonna have to be. So that's gonna do it for me guys. H24 Eau de Parfum, an improvement over the original. Definitely so for me, but is it still gonna be something that I'm super pumped up about? I can't say that I am just kind of how it is. It's just how the apple is falling here. Uh, if you've tried this one, let me know what you think down below. Make sure you get subscribed. Check my community tab. I'm posting new deals and stuff over there all the time, whether it be a new fragrance coming to market or just uh, you know a rare or discontinued fragrance coming in stock or just a good deal in general, whatever it is, you could save a lot of money. Make sure you get subscribed so that way those community posts show up in your subscription feed You know, on your mobile app. Hit subscription, you scroll, you'll see the post there. It's not even a bad idea to um, bookmark that, that community post tab on your, your browser. Check it multiple times a day so you don't miss out. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care. I got to say, I do like the bottles on these. Very sharp, very classy. I like it.